Hello my friends, today we're doing a good old fashioned what's new from Hermes update where we discuss everything new launching from Hermes and today's video is going to be quite special because we're discussing pieces that should be in boutiques as we speak. So if there is something that you see in this video that you love, make sure that you reach out to your advisor as soon as you can because we're discussing some brand new launches and we'll also look at some relaunches of pieces that were around previously but were so popular that they had to be brought back. So if you'd like to see what new pieces and old pieces that are new again you'll find on shelves at Hermes, then please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. And let's dive straight in and I think we should start with three pairs of shoes that we're getting in a teddy finish for the season which I am sure is going to make many of you really happy out there. So we're getting the orange sandals in a teddy finish again, which basically means that the orange sandals were eaten by this little fur monster. And this is the result of that, these little furry fuzzy or monsters, which we'll get in a ton of different colors. But I would say that my favorites are cognac and vert dough, which is the most beautiful seafoam shade. It's almost a neutral with just a hint of green. And the word dough is a color that was around previously, but only in alligator. And in shearling, while it's a completely different color to me, I still love it. So the orange sandals are coming back in shearling. We're also getting the sheep sandals both in a furry finish and then in a version that's made of suede and it's only the lining that's made of shearling. And then there's going to be a pair which I wish I didn't have to see but we're getting the infamous Hermes clogs with a shearling lining. So if you love a mule, if you love a pair of slippers or slip-on shoes, now you have plenty to choose from with a fuzzy furry finish. And speaking of shearling, there is another piece that I was quite disappointed by. You may remember me talking about this piece quite a few months ago at this point when it first launched, which is the Hermes Teddy Rodeo, which now we know is inspired by a little dog and while I still don't think that it looks like a dog, more like a dog toy that's been chewed up and spit out, if you love the design of this, it, you are getting it in a so black finish for the new season. It's been around in a handful of different colors, but now you will be able to pick it up in black with a black fur fin. And before we get into talking about some bags and bag accessories, I wanted to put one more piece on your radar or actually more like a new range. If you're a fan of Hermes tableware, you'll be happy to hear that they have just launched a new family of tableware, which is called Soleil d'Hermes. And as the name and the theme suggests, the collection is made of the most beautiful golden lit rich yellow shade. So if you have a garden that you love dressing up in the summer or if you just love a pop of color in your home, this collection was made for you because while the graphics and the prints are quite simplistic, the burst of yellow is just absolutely breathtaking. This is a collection that personally is not something that I would buy for myself. It is a little bit too much color for my liking, but if you love a pop of color, in your home, whether you're going to eat off of these pieces and you're going to use them in the kitchen or in the garden, or you're going to use them as decorative elements around your home, this is a collection that I would definitely suggest that you look into. And especially because it is a new launch, hopefully they'll have most pieces in stock, which is not the case when it comes to some other iconic collection. Since we are already on the topic of color, we might as well discuss this next collection, which is going to be a relaunch. It's not going to be a brand new collection, but the Kazakh collection is making a comeback, which even if you're not familiar with the name, I'm sure you've seen at least pictures of these bags on social media because these bags are really quite eye-catching. There were four bags that were part of this collection, the Kelly, the Birkin, the Picatin, 
and the mosaic and while i don't believe that they expanded on the original line they brought some of the bags back so if you love a pop of color you're getting two pops of color in one because what makes these bags special is that they're made up of two different but complementary colors and what makes them even more special is their messes know-how of how seamlessly they joined the two different pieces of leather together because they're not just painted to look different on each side but they're actually made up of two different pieces of leather that are seamlessly joined right in the middle with this technique called the turned edge seam technique. I have to be honest with you, I have seen some bags in this collection that really, really look like a piece of art because they were so seamlessly put together. And then I have also seen some that were kind of bumpy and there was a little bit of bulging going on in the middle. So if you're going to get this bag, make sure that you have a close look at it. But it is a collection that we are seeing pop up again for the current season. If you love the sound of the Kazak bags, but you're not the biggest fan of any one of the designs that we mentioned, the good news is that we're also getting an HAC with a similar inspiration. We're getting an HAC bag that again is inspired by jockey jackets, try to say that five times. So there is going to be an HAC, which to me, it seems more like a chessboard inspired piece rather than something that was inspired by jockey culture. And then there is also going to be a bullied bag, which again has this jockey inspiration to it. But believe it or not, it also reminds me of a popular board game. Doesn't it remind you of tic-tac-toe? To me, it seems like more of a tic-tac-toe inspiration than something that pays tribute to Hermes Equestrian Heritage. It might be just me, but that's the kind of vibe I'm getting from these pieces. So if you love a color blocking moment, these pieces should be out soon. And speaking of jockeys, there is one more piece that we have to mention, which is going to be a full on jockey puppet inspired back charm that I'm really kind of lost for words. I don't know what to say because it is more like a voodoo doll than anything else. If you're into the idea of attaching a puppet to your bag, by all means go for it. But all I can say is that you're not going to see me with a voodoo doll sort of tied and hung around the handles of my bag. And last but not least, I wanted to quickly discuss a bag that isn't technically new for the season, but I have just started seeing it, which is the Hermes Geta bag. This is a piece that we've talked about before in previous videos, but I have only just started seeing it both online and in boutiques, which is a bag that I'm kind of intrigued by. It's funny because every time I see this bag, I change my mind. When I love this bag, I start disliking it when I see another picture of it and vice versa. If I dislike it and another picture comes up, I start liking it. So I think I really have to take my time and go to see it in person. But I feel like it has potential. So let me just start out by saying what I love about this bag, which is the shape. I love the shape. I love that it's inspired by an old school camera bag. It's perfectly symmetric, which means that you're going to be able to really easily take advantage of every single corner in this bag. It's going to be easy to pack. It's going to fit a lot. I believe it's somewhere around 21 or 22 centimeters in length. So it is a generous size as far as bags go these days. So that sounds promising. I really like the large elongated age closure, which is a lot more subtle than something like a Constance bag would be, especially because you have the monochromatic hardware, the majority of the hardware is made of the exact same leather and color as the body of the bag. And speaking of color, I believe the Geta bag is currently available in nine different colors, in colors as shocking as blue electric, through more neutrals like caramel, all the way to the best color that's ever been created, which obviously is black so you have quite a wide range to choose from so these are the things that i love about this bag now let's move on to the one thing that 
I'm not sure about which is the shoulder strap. I love the fact that we get an adjustable shoulder strap with this bag, but the strap is quite wide and it's sort of embedded in the sides of the bag, which kind of reminds me of a seat belt and I'm not exactly sure how to feel about it. If you've seen this bag in person, if you bought it, if you turned it down, please let us know your thoughts in the comment section. But personally, it is a bag that I'm intrigued by. I think it has a lot of potential especially if you've always wanted an Hermes bag, but you've been looking for and been waiting for one that is a little bit more, not only subtle, but more boxy. I think there are a lot of men who love Hermes bags, but feel a little bit too intimidated to buy some of the more classic traditional Hermes bags that were made for women, which in my opinion is an incredibly outdated way of looking at things. You should wear whatever you want, but if you'd like a bag that is a little bit more traditionally masculine because of its boxy shape, the thick strap and the subtle hardware, I think it is going to be a good one. So I'll keep you posted when and if I see this bag for myself and if I get the chance to play around with it. But for now, it is a bag that I would say has quite a bit of potential. And my friends, this completes today's What's New from Hermes update. I hope you really enjoyed it. And please let me know in the comment section, which piece are you most excited for? Is there something on this list that you absolutely love? Are you not a fan of any one of these pieces? Do you prefer more traditional designs? I cannot wait to hear what you have to say. But for now, if you enjoyed this, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you back here with a new video really really soon bye